And uh, there's some new research that has found that 40% of uh, professionals that identify as Latino, I struggle with that, with those uh, terms as well, because it doesn't really uh, identify what these people really are and where they come from. But anyway, it's a made up construct, but they feel nervous about being laid off. One in four expect to lose their job in in the next 12 months. Uh, just over 55 percent of those of us that identify as black professionals say that they have the network community and resources to find a new position if they get laid off, according to this latest uh, study by LinkedIn. Despite these concerns, black and Latino professionals are tapping into their pandemic born confidence, 93 yep. percent respectively, to brace for the economic uncertainty. I was just talking with Smith about this off mic, you know, despite, you know, losing half of our revenue. Uh, during this time, which is ironic to me, but I'm gonna say less. Um, I doubled down. Everyone got their bonuses. I, I didn't. I didn't lay off anybody. Hired a new um, intern because I could take less because I see the future, and the yep. future means we need more people doing more things. So that means I'm gonna take less, and that's fine because I'm good. So I don't need more, you know. But that's what that should look like. And to me, when you start tightening your belt, you are uh, feeding the lack. Not yeah. the abundance that's around the corner, but tell me what the study is all about, Drew McCaskill. So putting on this is my LinkedIn hat. And one of the things I say, when you look at what people are saying around the around recession and we're seeing layoffs and all that, and you're like, but Drew, you're saying people are feeling really confident, right? Like what's you know, make it make sense, right? And so what the thing I that I say is that now's the time to read the markets and not the headlines. And when you let actually read the market. Um, you are seeing layoffs largely in tech. Tech makes up less than 5% of the entire labor market. So you're seeing all these headlines about all these big companies laying off. They're largely technology companies. Don't let that don't let that scare you. Make it you should be aware, but not scared, right? And here's the thing that I say for job seekers. Um, who feel uncertain about what's going on in the market right now, it's important to know that there's still a lot of jobs out there. Right now on LinkedIn, there's one open role for every job seeker. If you look at the entire labor market, it's about 1.6 open roles for every job seeker who's out there in the marketplace. And, you know, I think that we got to continue to remember that, you know, if you're actively looking for work, that that, those job openings are nearly double the pre-pandemic era. So we're looking at still historically, even for African-Americans, historically low unemployment in this country. And we have our new um, jobs, um, the hottest jobs in the country, jobs on the rise. And in the top five in that are HR jobs. And that's that's employee experience. That is um, diversity inclusion managers. That is um, HR analytics folks. And what that means to me is that Companies are basically saying the last three years we made all these hires. Now we got to figure out how to make sure we keep the best talent that we hire and how to manage for people who are working remote, people who are um, who are working hybrid. And we also now have spent this have spent this money and we got to figure out how to make sure that people actually want to stay here. And so that's a really good thing, because if people are economic Economic hardships and, and tough times economically separates the wheat from the shaft in terms of who actually is really serious about employees and investing in employees. And if you're now at this moment of like where we're seeing, you know, coming recession and you're investing in these HR jobs, particularly in diversity and inclusion, you know that that's a true priority. Number four on the list, truck drivers. We're seeing people um, offering six figure starting salaries for people with a CDL as well as signing bonuses that are commiserate with what they're offering people in the corporate offices for people with a CDL. So there's a lot of those things. To your point, Karen, what you're doing is exactly what I think some of the largest and the smartest companies are doing. They're saying, hey, revenue may be down, but the number one job um, on our new jobs list is um, people are looking for head of revenue management and revenue operations, people to help you figure out what do we need for the future? How do we take this money that we're bringing in and put it in the right place and bet on the right things for the future of the company like you're doing with hiring and what like you're doing with making sure the people that you that, um, you know, that you're working with that are doing what needs to be done are, you know, taken care of. 